What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today's test drive is this 1966 Chevy Impala. Came back 350 under the hood. Looks like we've got some upgrades here. This little piece they've added in the front to cover up everything. You got aluminum radiator, you also got electric fans, all the pulleys have been upgraded. Looks like you got power steering, but you do not have power brakes. Somebody has wrapped the exhaust, and they actually did a pretty good job on that. That's a decently hard thing to do, honestly, if you ever tried to do it. Looking around under the hood, it's pretty clean. There's detailed pictures, financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. Of course, I do this every day, so if you hit subscribe and share this video, also leave me a comment. That's going to help me out quite a bit. With that being said, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, looking around the interior, place those bets. Do you think the horn works? It's got a nice little center cap there for the steering wheel. Pretty clean on the dash. You got nice carpet in this one. Fairly new, you can see a little wrinkle there. So yeah, somebody's changed it out. The interior on this one is not bad. Emblem back there in the middle. Package tray is huge. Headliner looks great. Missing a visor. A little bit of pitting on your uh, attachment there for the visor, your hinge. Showing 21,000 miles on the dash. Turn the key. Turn the key. There we go. Engine temperature is starting to come up. I went ahead and did the walk around first, but I'm going to put it at the end of the video. Good oil pressure. Gauge is moving around. Blower motor does cut on on this one. You can hear it. Well, yeah, it's on now. Blew out some stuff in the floor. See that? All right, radio. Golly, it's kind of loud real quick. Wipers, turn signals, left side, right side. Sweet. Horn, did you place your bets? It does work. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay guys, we're getting ready to take off down the road here. I got my window up. Uh, we've checked everything over the interior and now we're going to see how it runs and drives so sounds awesome motor's definitely been built up a little bit on this one sounds great in gear okay i don't think we'll have to stop and get any fuel this time put a little spot in the dash there i don't know what that's for Plug it up. Of course, we pull out when there's tons of traffic. Looks like we got a good run after this truck coming up. All right, here we go, guys. This is my first time taking this down the road. Decent shift. This thing is going straight as an arrow down the road. Speedometer is fast. We're running about 40 mile an hour and it says we're going 65, so that is not right. Getting into those brakes. A little bit of a right pull when you first hit them. Uh, still pulling to the right there. Back in the throttle. What happens when I floor it? sounds awesome that's what happens <laughs> okay great throttle response I mean that's instant not bad at all there and the brakes do feel pretty good they're not really pulling to the right anymore Scratch that, they're still pulling to the right. <laughs> it wasn't as bad when I hit it just a second ago. If I hit them hard, it's when it does it. Just barely. That side's probably grabbing a little bit more than this side. So 
So good thing is we don't have to stop and get no fuel. We have gas and it's floating around half a tank, quarter tank. We're gonna pull in this parking lot over here, get a few outside shots. Get some undercarriage shots as well. And continue this video. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Y'all look like y'all took a bath today. Golly, got y'all on widescreen. Let's go ahead and take off here. Heading back to the lot. This car runs and drives great, guys. I'm not worried about how it runs and drives now. We gotta get back to the lot, and I'm gonna pick out chips, scratches, rust, dents, whatever else there is to find. Okay. Here we go. Skirt. I think if you came in and test drove this, you'd be impressed on how it glides down the road. It's nice and smooth. Motor sounds beastly. 
Engine temperature's not even on the halfway mark on the gauge down there. Oil pressure is at the halfway mark. Coming down this road here, it's got a little bump in the middle of it. I like to hit that bump at a moderate speed, kind of give you an idea on suspension. Taking off. Here's the bump. Fairly smooth. Getting in those brakes. Yeah, we're good. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull in this parking lot here, get me some outside pictures and stuff. There's detailed photos on MapleMotors.com. There's financing and shipping on all of our rides, and I do appreciate you watching. So hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. Makes it to where I can do this daily. I'll see y'all here in a minute. Picking out the flaws is up next. know it it's time to pick out the flaws we're gonna be walking around this ride of course anything I see you'll know about there's detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com and if you want to help me out just hit subscribe share this video hit like and I'll be posting more and more every single week okay now that we're up front we're gonna get up close and personal let's get started there is pitting on this front bumper. You can see it. It is an older bumper there. Down around the lower portion. Got some old chips. Little spots popping up in between the bumper. The chrome is all pitted. Looking at the grill on this one. Crack there. Little dings. Little spot here. Looks like some little overspray spots on the front end, a little chip. But down this side, tires are in great shape on this car. The wheels don't look bad either, coming up over the fender well down your lower sides little chip here it's a scratch yep a little scratch there up and over chip there dirt down at the bottom Back bumper's got some pitting and stuff too. We'll go over that in a, here in a minute. I gotta get the keys and open the trunk. Ship there. Chips. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Middle of the door there has got some scuffs. Those may buff out. A little spot there. there up top too chrome looks good on that mirror back window the trim looks great and the back window is in good shape 
huge little spot there it's cracking in the paint the window down the side looks pretty good the chrome around it also yeah it's older it's pitted it's also pitted the seal there has got some dry cracks in it let's clear it up there little chip little chip on the front windshield also there up over the roof let me grab these keys see what's in this trunk it's the first time I've actually opened it looks good it's been painted but it looks good you can see the little rust bubbles popping up there in the bottom package tray on this one's got some surface rust in the back overall it looks decent got your jack around this way around on the lid itself the seal around the trunk looks pretty good Okay, so as far as coming down with this, you pull it, and it's locked. Do got some light little bubbles popping up there above the trim. A little crack there in the corner, also there. A little bubble there in the corner. Now looking around on your back end, the tail lights on this one have got some little cracks in them. A little bit of pitting around it on the chrome. Pitting on the chrome in the back bumper too. Coming down this side, lower portion. And over Got a spot popping up there so here cracks in the paint there on the side Little chips at the bottom Little chips you got some trim popping out there I'll just pop back in Spot there. Back your midsection. Spot there. Some of this stuff is just clinging to the car. It's like little pieces of grass. I'm just kind of wiping it off so that I can tell you if it's a chip or not. There's one there. Also here, a couple in the middle. Side of that door. Door handle on this one's got some pitting. Spot there. Top here over the top of the fender you've got some stains in the paint that are oxidized little chip on the hood too I'll be laying the hood down here in a minute but you've got some oxidized paint this car could definitely use a buffing It'd probably come out a lot cleaner you've got a chip 
on the windshield there and here and there so the windshield's not perfect either trim around it looks all right little chips in there above the pillar your vent window here the seal's not bad a little dry but not bad pitting around on the chrome this back piece has been replaced little cracks here back when I used to be a sticker there a little hazy kind of blotchy on the paint job let me zoom in I'll show you see that hazy up top too biggest thing is this car's got a decent paint job on it I think it just needs a all over buff job and it'll really be shining all right let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll get her started up door panel on this one looks all right a little bit of discolored at the bottom the seal on this edge it's got some dry rot the chrome looks pretty good the carpet looks pretty good it was just dusty probably from me yeah not bad at all the seats got some cracks in it your back seat also looks pretty good package tray there's a little spot in the middle but most of it's okay headliner on this one a little stain there missing a visor but it looks all right some chips a little cracked crack up top let's get the keys out of my pocket here so we can start it up so I did this walk around before I did the test drive we've got a cold car here and it runs pretty good. Good oil pressure. Lower motor and stuff is cutting on it. Working. You can hear it. Radio. Hey guys, man. Working. Get 21,000 miles. Wipers and stuff. Pretty good. Great at pulleys. Electric fan, aluminum radiator. This plate here is also added. They've wrapped the exhaust and they actually did a pretty good job. This motor sounds like it's got roller rockers. Coming down with the hood. Shot's pretty good. The chrome there has got some fitting on it. All the way down. In your hood here, little thin spots. Maybe they've already tried to buff on it. But it definitely has got some little shadows popping out here and there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides. And, of course, I've got more to do. So I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.